Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by PassFab's Activation Unlock. If you've ever been a victim of iCloud Activation Lock, as many have, where you purchase a device online illegally and it turned out to be Activation Locked, you can get access to the device. PassFab Activation Unlock software can actually help you recover some of the features and functionalities back to your device. Things like downloading applications to play games, browse social media, maybe listen to music. PassFab can help you recover some of those features and functionalities with a few simple steps. Make sure use this software responsibly so check out PassFab's activation unlock links will be in the description down below hey guys anybody's help here welcome back to the channel and ios 15 of course will soon be released to the general public and one of the most popular questions i get on my channel every single year is should i update to the next major update of course this year late september will be ios 15 and number two another popular one is will apple slow down the performance of my device and will affect the battery of the device well in terms of battery performance that's something that de depends on your usage number one number two it also depends obviously on the battery health of your iphone and the other question is why does apple slow down older devices so are they still doing this with ios 15 and in order to understand this we have to take a step back in order to understand everything so back in 2017 late december 2017 ios users discovered that apple was intentionally limiting processing speeds on older iphones because of the battery aging so as we know iphones have batteries inside lithium-ion batteries and with the time batteries as normal they degrade on all iphones therefore according to apple losing on peak performance and capabilities however Apple failed to notify the users that they were slowing down their iPhones in order to retain uh, the peak performance and capabilities of the device to retain battery and also to preserve battery and also to prevent unexpected shutdowns. But what Apple failed to do was to actually notify users, which caused a lot of users to actually buy a new device instead of replacing the battery. If Apple would have notified users that the battery was uh, bad, right, or the battery uh, was degrading and therefore they were throttling the devices and a battery replacement would just restore peak performance, I'm pretty sure most users would have not bought a new device and simply replaced the battery on their iPhone. But Apple failed to notify users back late in 2017 that this was the case. Then we have the new battery tab and battery health. Nowadays, with iOS 15, we get important messages such as this one here. Important battery message. Your battery health is significantly degraded. An Apple authorized service provider can replace the battery to fully restore performance and capabilities. If users would have known this before, I'm sure as I mentioned already, users would have replaced the battery instead of buying a brand new device. So in 2020, Apple settled and paid a $50 million settlement in the US March of 2020 to be exact and admitting to slowing down devices in order to preserve performance and to prevent unexpected shutdowns. So iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone uh, SE was also affected here. And uh, now we know that the battery, if needs to be replaced, Apple will let us know and we can now replace the battery and restore full performance to this device. So Apple isn't necessarily slowing down older iPhones to slow down older iPhones, but they fail to notify users that they're slowing down the iPhones if the battery capabilities are just simply not there. And as I mentioned here, as I showed you here, under battery, if you do have this message under battery right here, battery health, and you click here, it shows you that Apple will ask you to send it in for replacement or for repair. As you can see right here, you can find a repair place close by. You can bring it into an Apple store, chat, and also call services, and even more options are available here as well. So yes, Apple does continue to slow down older iPhones, but not the iPhone itself. As long as the iPhone has a newer battery inside, so if you have an older iPhone like an SE first gen, iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, or iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, and you're looking to update to iOS 15, I would recommend you look at your battery capacity. Yeah, Apple is slowing down older iPhones, but not because of the iPhones, because of the batteries. And yes, it still happens within iOS 15. Hopefully this helps you make a decision. Maybe you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.